The brand new Corvin Sparkling Wine Preservation System has just been released and they are claiming that it will keep your bubbles fresh for up to one month. But can it live up to the test? Let's find out. Well, hello everyone. It's good to see you and I am so excited to be here with the brand new Corbin Sparkling Preservation System. I think most of you know by now that I am a big fan of the bubbly. But the problem is once I open a bottle, it goes bad in just a few days. And even though I've got my fair share and good supply of bouchons to keep it nice and fresh for as long as I can, really I'm maxing out at three to five days tops. So you can imagine how excited I was when I heard that Coravin was working on a sparkling wine preservation system to keep my bubbles fresh for even longer. But it's a big claim that they're making. They're saying that they can keep your sparkling wine good for up to four weeks, which is huge. I mean, it's longer than anything I've ever heard out there. I'm excited. I think you guys are excited too, because if this thing actually works, this is a game changer. This means I get to drink a lot more champagne and hopefully pour a lot less down the drain. But before we go any further, let me just give you a little bit of background on Corvin as a whole. For those of you unfamiliar with Corvin, they revolutionized the wine game about 10 years ago in 2011 when the Corvin wine preservation system was invented and released. The system looks like this, and I'm a huge fan of it. I have several of them. I use them at home, and it's awesome for keeping my wines fresh for months, if not years. Essentially what happens is this surgical grade needle goes in through the cork, it extracts the wine out using a pressurized system, argon replaces the displaced fluid, and then you've got yourself a fresh bottle with a whole cork that never even comes out of the bottle. It's pretty cool if you've never seen it before, and I highly recommend this product if you don't have one at home. Only problem is it only works for still wines, meaning no sparkling. And over the years, Greg the founder has heard it from everyone. They've said, Greg, why haven't you made a sparkling preservation system? And honestly, the reason is it's really effing hard. Preserving wine in general is incredibly difficult. You're essentially preventing oxidation, something that's naturally happening all the time, from ruining the wine that's in the bottle. Meaning as soon as oxygen starts hitting that wine, it's gonna start to move towards that vinegar side of things. With sparkling wine, you need to not only prevent oxidation, but you also need to make sure that that sparkling wine is going to stay bubbly. It's gonna still have some freshness and liveliness and be delicious at its core, but it's gotta have bubbles or let's face it, it's not sparkling or champagne. So understandably, it took Greg a little while to figure this whole thing out. And just a few months ago, they finally released the product to the market. And I'm excited to be among the first to try it out. I received my sparkling package in the mail about mm, a little over a month ago. And as soon as I got it, I did a whole unboxing. I opened the champagne, I poured myself a glass, I hit it with this thing right here, which I'll tell you about in a second, and the charger, I put it in the fridge, and I opened it two weeks later. And when I opened it two weeks later, it was still super fresh, and I was like, well, let's go for the full four weeks. Let's see how this thing actually does under pressure. Let's see if it lives up to its promise. And that's where we're at today. Today we are officially at the four week mark. I'm going to remove this capsule from the bottle. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of champagne and hopefully it's going to be bubbly and fresh and delicious and will not have, I don't know, completely disintegrated on me in the last month because this is a very delicious bottle of 2008. Bouf Clicquot Le Grand Dame, and I would really hate to pour this down the drain. So if you're ready, and I'm definitely ready, let's give this thing a try. As you can see, the thing that's protecting this right now is the patented Coravin Universal Stopper. This is not going anywhere. If I turn this bottle upside down, around, whatever, if I shake it up a little bit, although I don't want to do that too much, it will not fall off. And what's great is when you put it in the fridge, you can actually lay it on its side. You don't have to keep it upright. And in fact, it's actually not putting too much more space at the top of the champagne bottle. So it's not only gonna be perfect for jostling around, but it's gonna fit pretty easily in your fridge. So as you can see here, this lever is gonna pull up and I'm gonna take this thing off the top and hopefully there's gonna be a little bit of a fizz. Woo! Lift off. I see some bubbles inside the bottle already, which is a great sign, but 
time for the ultimate test. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's like foamy. This is so much better than I expected. Honestly, I was like, it'll be a little sparkly. It is like literally as bubbly as the day that I opened it. Oh my God. That is so cool. Four weeks. We're at full four weeks. It still smells awesome. It smells super fresh. It smells exactly like when I opened it, which means it has not been oxidized and this thing has done its job. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, hell yes. Fresh as the day I got it. Super bubbly. Mmm. Man, the champagne's good. Totally blown away. That is so awesome. Let's talk about the nuts and bolts of this thing, how it actually works. So you saw I have the champagne bottle and the cork is out of it. So unlike the Coravin still system, you are actually going to be removing the cork from the bottle, which is a totally different way that you would do it with Coravin normal. Once you pour whatever amount you wanna pour, then you're gonna take your champagne stopper and this thing will actually adjust to fit not only a standard size 750 milliliter bottle, but also fit a half bottle as well as a Magnum. They've also tested it on a wide array of champagne bottles. And we all know that all different champagnes have different style tops, different necks. They have done it all. And as Greg said, if you find a champagne or a sparkling wine that this doesn't fit with, give him a call immediately because he wants to rectify that. Once you have that bottle open, you've got your wine poured out of it. This is actually gonna go back on top. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing, is making sure that you have enough pressure on top of it for it to seal in place. So let me go ahead and show you how this is done here. This is just gonna sit right on top here. And what you wanna do is make sure you've got a lot of weight. Sometimes I even need to stand up and make sure I'm pressing down hard enough. You'll know when it's sealed. So I'm gonna go ahead and push down really, really hard. And I think I got it, yes. Perfect, firm, not going anywhere. You'll kind of hear it click into place. There is, you know, sort of like a seal thing happening. Once you've got your stopper on here, you're gonna grab the charger that comes with it. This thing is gonna go on top of this and charge it with CO2, pure CO2, and ensure that it preserves the freshness of the bottle as well as the actual bubbles. Thing's gonna go right on top here. Wait to turn from red to green, and then you're good to go. We're preserved, and hopefully we can get a few more weeks out of this thing. So that's it, that's the whole system. But let's talk a little bit about what's inside the actual box. So of course, you're gonna be getting the charger here, you're gonna be getting the Bouchon, and then you're also gonna be getting an extra one of those. So you could potentially have two of these open at any given time. It's also coming with these protective bags, and then you're also going to need these Coravin Sparkling, the CO2 cartridges. Just like the Coravin regular for the still wines, you do need to purchase the capsules that go inside. They are different though. So this is CO2, the other ones are Argon. You do need to buy these from Coravin. You can't use your Soda Stream one, sorry. This one comes four to a pack and came with my system. Pros and cons, let's talk about pros and cons. Things that we love, things that we don't love quite as much. So, pros. Obviously, we love the fact that you can preserve your sparkling wine for weeks on end, potentially even months, because that's still delicious and be clearly going nowhere. I love the fact that I could have potentially two of these open and do side by side. So as like an examination thing is concerned, it's really nice for me to, to taste different champagnes or sparkling wines side by side. I mean, there's a whole application of uses for a product like this that I won't even start naming, but we can definitely talk about that down the line. A couple cons. I mean, the price is probably the most prohibitive thing right now. It's $399, which I think is like a small price to pay given what we're talking about right now and the revolutionary technology that is existing at our fingertips. $399, of course, gets you everything that I just talked about. The other thing is that you will need to eventually purchase more of these capsules, which are not expensive, but they're not inexpensive. $45 gets you six of them. One, they're saying, will preserve up to seven standard size bottles. So they are going a really, really long way. I think it's safe to say I'm a believer. I'm super excited about this. This totally blew my mind. 
I'm hoping this will last me even longer than a month. I suspect at this point it probably will, but who knows, I might just drink the whole thing before we'll ever actually find out. If you love this video, if you're curious about this system, I'd love for you to ask me questions or put any remarks and comments below. I'll be there to respond to them. And if you love this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're enjoying what I'm doing. Till next time, everyone, it was good to see you and cheers.